So I was thinking of doing a video about our experience at the Costco and Walmart and that they had no, well first we went in there and they wiped the cart after we already touched it. And then she wiped the keys after I already put in my pin number and said they were just doing their part to try to keep people safe. And I'm thinking, okay, I already touched it. So I guess it was for me. So that was cool. And then when we were back there, they had all the aisles cut off so they could get down the last of the water. And there was no toilet paper we overheard and that people were going to have to call in, right? And reserve it. At 8 o'clock in the morning. And come in. At 8 o'clock in the morning. And just get one per family. They can only get like two packs or something. There's oh. a little limit. There was a limit. Anyway. And then we went to Walmart. Well, we were leaving the, and looked over at the gas. And all the gas stations had these little lights that I never noticed before. That most of them were red. Meaning that all of them were out of gas. And... We went to Walmart, and when we got into Walmart, they had empty aisles for the toilet paper, paper towels, tissue, napkins, and baby wipes were missing, and most of the canned fruit and vegetables, and all the rice and dried beans, and I think even the canned beans, and boxed potatoes. All those shelves seemed to be very bare if there were anything left. And same with the frozen. Foods were pretty low. Of course, you know, they could just stock up tomorrow or whatever. Somebody said as we were leaving, I saw diapers in the person in front of me's things with no baby. I was thinking, well, maybe diapers would be an option. <laughs> anyway, or they just left their baby at home to sit stay safe as we were leaving the lady I said something about have a good day or something and she said I will now that we got formula for my grandbaby it took us three six stores and it took us three to finally get toilet paper because um we had found another place and somebody said they had heard that um Home Depot was another place to go and try so anyway um, and then down the road from us, we have, uh, Maple Lane, the old detention center for, um, boys, uh, that closed a while ago, turning into a coronavirus quarantine area, and there's a state patrol there outside of it, and it's kind of got this green mesh fence up around it. A bunch of RVs and there's about 10 of them there for quarantine I guess people and then I read in the newspaper that it said nine people tested for COVID-19 in Lewis County and then you flip it over and read that four of them came back negative and five are still out or something to that effect and and then I've heard people are um, closing a lot of events, especially in Seattle, Washington, and up in the bigger areas that uh, our governor, um, Jan Lee Inslee, is saying, you know, to not gather more than 250 people. Um and I didn't know if the schools were going to be shutting down soon because I know they are up north. But I got a email about the YMCA that it's closing every activity down and they might be helping when there's need for quarantine and you can pay, I think, to stay there or something. So that's kind of interesting. And then I got another or my mom got an email from, I'm sure I have it too, 
from the Timberland Regional Library that they're all going to shut down and that they're going to be working with, you know, to help, be available to help if there comes a need to help. So I don't know, I didn't read the whole thing about that either, but I'm assuming that's the same sort of thing where they'll open up if there needs to be a place um, for people. So I think that's all of the things I was going to share. I wish I could maybe edit and add in all the pictures from Western Washington stores that I went to recently and the shortage of soap and food and <clears throat> definitely toilet paper, paper products. And yeah, I think I think that was about all I was going to share. Not to scare you, just to kind of inform you what's going on over here. And... Anyways, my daughter was reading this newspaper and we noticed that Boris Park was going to get 26 trees removed. So, that was kind of sad. Because they're big, big trees that have been there all my life. So, and... Just to stay safe, one of the things that we're doing would be super duper tonic and hopefully we'll make maybe a recipe with that, the ingredients, and share that with you soon. And um, we'd also be, maybe I'd add some oregano oil and some coconut oil and swish your mouth with that and, you know, eat healthy, lots of fruits and vegetables and you know stay well and try to maybe even stay home for a while if you can avoid big crowds and keep washing your hands that's the main thing is to wash your hands i know some people can use neti pots and you know really stay healthy with their vitamins and their tinctures and you know maybe they've researched colloidal silver or um, boron and DE and things like that so I I'm all for that if you can afford things like extra I think you know natural oils are really good to have essential oils <clears throat> and then you know some of the herbs and spices are really good turmeric's really good and a lot of garlic so that you can stay healthy and I still think raw honey from your area is always a healthy thing for people um, not all vegans agree with that but that's something that we've done for natural remedy for allergies and things like that too so I've really heard it's helpful when they had a big flu epidemic long long ago and everyone died around them the people that had the raw honey in their closet in their pantry or whatever they just sat there and that's what they had to eat and um, they survived so I don't know it's just something to consider when you research raw honey and I just hope you all stay well and take care bye for now please subscribe